Hello students. How are you all? I hope all of you are doing really well. So students, in today's class, we are going to study about a very interesting chapter. The name of the chapter is The Little Girl. This is written by Catherine Mansfield. Okay students, so let's start. Do you feel you know your parents better now? than when you were much younger perhaps you now understand the reasons for some of their actions that used to upset you earlier so i'm sure students when you were younger you thought that your parents are not as good or as you wanted them to be but as you grow up you understand that why your parents behaved in a certain way right so this is the same story of this little girl This story about a little girl whose feelings for her father change from fear to understanding will probably find an echo in every home. So the author is trying to say that the story is not unique to this little girl. It is very much common in each of our houses. So let's see the story and find out the the changes that the little girl has in her heart okay so let's begin to the little girl he was a figure to be feared and avoided a figure to be feared means students a person to be feared which means a person that you are afraid of every morning before going to work he came into her room and gave her a casual kiss to which she replied responded with goodbye father and oh there was a glad sense of relief when she heard the noise of the carriage growing fainter and fainter down the long road so the little girl she got excited and she felt relieved oh thank god my father has left for office she felt a great sense of relief In the evening when he came home she stood near the staircase and heard his loud voice in the hall Bring my tea into the drawing room hasn't the paper come yet mother go and see if my papers out there and bring me my slippers So students from this stanza you can understand that the father as soon as he came from the office he started to pass orders that where is my tree where is my paper where is please someone come and take out my slippers so he was giving orders okay students kezia mother would call to her if you are a good girl you can come down and take off the father's boots slowly the girl would slip down the stairs more slowly still across the hall and push open the drawing room door slip downs mean come down very quietly or unwillingly so till now you have seen that this little girl she was really afraid of her father she did not really like him because his voice was very loud and he always used to pass orders now let's continue by that time he had his spectacles on and looked at over them in a way that was terrifying to this little girl well kezia hurry up and pull off these boots and take them outside have you been a good girl today i do do don't know father you don't do know if you stutter like that mother will have to take you to the doctor stutter students mean to stammer or when you talk with continued involuntary repetition of sound she never stuttered with other people had quite given it up but only with father because then she was trying to so hard to say the words properly given it up means to stop doing it okay so when probably she was so afraid of her father that she was trying very hard to say the words properly properly and probably that was the reason that she started to stutter when she talked with her father she started to stutter or stammer 
What's the matter? What are you looking so wrenched about? Mother, I wish you taught this child not to appear on the brink of suicide. Here, Kejia, carry my teacup back to the table carefully. Now, wretched means unhappy. And the phrase on the brink of suicide means about to commit suicide. So the father is saying that why you are making this face as if you are so upset, as if you are going to commit suicide. Don't make such faces. What's the matter? So father is talking very rudely. Okay. And loudly also. And also he is giving orders. Chalo, you take my teacup back to the table. So these are the reasons why maybe the Kejia is afraid of her father. He was so big, his hands and his neck, especially his mouth, when he yawned. Thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant. So you can see how innocent this little girl is. She is comparing her father with a giant. She is saying that, oh, my father is so big. He is so scary. He is like a giant to me. On Sunday afternoons, grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with father and mother. But the little girl always found mother reading and father stretched out on the sofa, his handkerchief on his face, his feet on one of the best cushions, sleeping soundly and snoring. So this description you can find in this picture that how the mother is busy reading and how the father is lying down on the sofa, he's stretching himself and his legs, as you can see, students, they are on the best cushions. Cushions means, like we say in our homes, pillow. Okay. And how this little girl is waiting for them to talk to her. But they are both not showing interest in talking to the little girl. She sat on a stool, gravely watched him until he woke and stretched and asked the time. Then looked at her. Don't stare so, Kezia. You look like a little brown owl. <laughs> so you can see, students, how the father is calling the little girl that you are looking like a brown owl. So she never got that kind of affection from her father. He always talked very rudely. One day, when she was kept indoors with a cold, her grandmother told her that father's birthday was next week and suggested that she should make him a cush pin cushion for a gift out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk. So, grandfa uh, grandmother suggested that she should make a very beautiful gift that was pin cushion for the coming birthday of her father. Now, you can see in the picture, this is known as pin, pin cushion. Okay. And yellow silk, I have attached a picture of the yellow silk. Laboriously with a double cotton, the little girl stretched three sides. But what to fill it with? That was the question. The grandmother was out in the garden and she wandered into mother's bedroom to look for scraps. So students laboriously means with a lot of effort or difficulty. Wandered into means went into by chance. Now, as I told you students that she was making a pin cushion for her father, she was wondering, May, what should I fill it? Generally, we fill uh, like of cotton into cushions. But this little girl, she was thinking what, should she, uh, what she should put into the cushion. On the bed table, she discovered a great many sheets of fine paper, gathered them up, tore them into tiny pieces and stuffed her case, then shoot up the fourth side. Now she went into the uh, bedroom and she got some really fine papers. She tore them and she filled the cushion, pin cushion with those tiny papers. Students, I hope you have understood the story till here. So let's discuss some questions for a quick revision. What gift did the grandmother suggest case to Kezia to give to her father on his birthday? I'm sure you know the pin cushion. How did Kezia feel when her father looked at her through his spectacles? Do you remember students? I told you 
she felt terrified why was kezia afraid of her father can anybody tell me yes she was afraid because he kept finding faults in her why would kezia's grandmother encourage her to talk to her father like i told you that her grandmother always said that you go and sit with your parents on sunday so why do you think grandmother do, did that so that she could know her father better what would kezia's father do before going to his office yes he would give kezia a very casual goodbye kiss now what is the name of the writer of the story the little girl the name of the author is catherine mansfield okay students very good now let's continue to read the story that night there was a hue and cry in the house father's great speech for the port authority had been lost rooms were searched servants questioned finally mother came into kezia's room now hue and cry here means angry protest so they were like everybody was angry because they were looking for the great speech or like a great speech for the port authority which belonged to the father it was nowhere to be found kezia i suppose you didn't see some papers on the table in your in our room oh yes she said i tore them up for my surprise and she was dragged down to where father was pacing to and fro hands behind his back well he said sharply mother explained no mother explained the whole story that why kezia has taken that paper and what she has done with it he stopped and stared at the child did you do that no 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 she whispered she is like very upset okay that her father is scolding her and you know shouting at her mother go up to her room and fetch down the damn thing see the child is put to bed this instant so the father is saying to mother that please take kezia upstairs and make her sleep okay put to bed means make sure that she is going to sleep this instant means right now without any delay crying too much to explain she lay in the shadowed room watching the evening light make a sad little pattern on the floor then father came into the room with a ruler in his hands i am going to beat you for this he said oh no no she screamed hiding under the bed clothes bed clothes means bed sheet here okay he pulled them aside sit up he ordered and hold out your hands you must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belong to you but it was for your birthday so the little girl is really angry and she is really terrified she is trying to explain that i did not do it purposely i had i was trying to make a surprise for your birthday but the father is very angry and he is going to beat her and he is going to say that you have to learn a lesson do not touch anything which does not belong to you down came the ruler on her little pink palms hours later when grandmother had wrapped her in a shawl and rocked her in a rocking chair the child clung to her soft body okay you can see in the picture the rocking chair what did god make fathers for she sobbed means she cried okay here's a clean hanky darling blow your nose go to sleep pet you will forget all about it in the morning so nobody was very loving to the kezia only grandmother she understood her and she tried to comfort her she always gave her warmth and she always gave her love and care so kezia is so badly hurt that she is saying that why did god made fathers for what is the need of the fathers because she is very upset with the with her father she did not want to talk to her because probably he was very rude and he also beat her i tried to explain to father but he was too upset to listen tonight but the child never forgot 
Next time she saw him, she quickly put both hands behind her back and a red color flew into her cheeks. So after that incident when father has like she, he he beat her on her palms, she really got scared. And from then onwards, whenever she saw her father coming, she hid her hands behind her back thinking that her father will start beating her again and because of that her cheeks became red means she was so scared that the blood very f- uh, like blood flew to her cheeks and it became red with like she was so scared okay terrified so students we will read till here in this class and in the next class we will continue with the chapter let's see some of the comprehension questions what orders were passed to kezia in the evening when father returned from home office sorry when father returned home from office when kezia's father returned home from office she was supposed to come down take off father's shoes and put them outside she was also to put her father's tea cup on file tea table Second question, students. Why did Kezia stammer in front of her father? So, like we have read in the story, that she never stammered in in front of anyone. She only stuttered in front of her father. Now, why do you think she did that? Yes, Kezia's father always scolded her, never spoke to her in a loving manner. So, Kezia stammered in front of her father because she was afraid of him and found it difficult to speak in front of him. Okay. What made Kezia's father punish her? So, all of you know the answer that Kezia was making a surprise, right? So, let's see. She tore important papers of her father to stuff in the pin cushion because she was making a gift. to present to her father since the papers had her father's speech written on it she was punished for tearing it why did kezia's grandmother send her to the drawing room every sunday afternoon we have discussed this before kezia's grandmother knew that she was afraid of her father and she felt that if she spoke to him more often she would get rid of that fear So Sunday every Sunday afternoon she used to send her to the drawing room to have a nice talk with her father. Okay students I am sure you all have understood the chapter till here and for a quick revision we'll go through the summary of this chapter. Kezia was a little girl. She feared her father. She thought that her father was like a giant. He had big hands and a big neck his mouth was also very big and specially it looked more bigger when he used to yawn right yeah she always avoided him she thought that he was very cruel now i told you students that he was always giving him giving her orders and that is why she was always scared of her father and because he always used to talk very rudely In the evening the little girl's father came back. He spoke loudly in the house. Kezia feared her father's loud voice. Her mother would ask her to go and take off his shoes. When she entered his room, he looked at her sternly. Kezia thought that her father was a hard-hearted person. Now Kezia had made a picture of her father she thought that her father is really big like a giant he always speaks very loudly and he always ask others to do his work and for kezia his her father was a figure to be feared her father was very hard hearted person he did not have love and he did not have care and concern for anybody this was the picture of a, of a father in the kezia's mind kezia's father worked in an office he went to an office in the morning before going he went to the little girl's room he gave her a casual kiss the father went to the office in a carriage 
she felt very happy when her father had gone now it was a routine of kezia's father that he would go to her room before leaving for the office and give her a very casual kiss now we should understand students that her father were not very was not very bad he was not as bad as kezia used to think because otherwise he would never come and give her a casual kiss it, it surely means that he had love for her right and when the father you no know, carriage carriage means the transport that you use for going somewhere so ca- with carriage the father was going to the office and when the the sound of the carriage grew very fainter so she got very happy and she got relieved that my father is not in the home so i am free i am i don't have to be scared of anybody she felt happy in that sense one day kezia made a pin cushion she wanted to present it to her father on his birthday she needed paper to stuff the pin cushions she found some seeds of paper in her father's room so like as grandmother has advised her to give her to give his her father a surprise so she planned to make a pin cushion and she was looking something to stuff the cushion with she tore the sheets to stuff the pin cushion her father had written a very important speech on them he was very angry with her he was so angry that he took a stick and beat her severely he told her not to touch anything that did not belong to her kezia wept bitterly she wondered why god had made fathers now she trembled even at the sight of her father so after this incident kezia was only trying to surprise him but the father got very very angry because it was a important paper for him it had written all the important speech that he was supposed to give now that did not happen because she obviously ripped it off so he could not control his anger he was short tempered he got irritated and as a result he he really scolded kezia badly and even be- beat her right and after that wherever kezia saw her father she started to tremble with fear shake with fear and her face grew red and she used to hide her palms behind her back thinking that my father will beat me so this was the incident which really had brought a great amount of fear in kezia's mind for her father so this was all about the chapter the little girl and we can see that kezia did not like her father very much but i'm sure that the kezia will find out a love in her, in and a heart for her father because the story will develop and also the love will grow in kezia's heart for her father so let's see what will happen in the next part of the chapter when we will read it in the next time so students till then take care and bye bye